Perfect. Hello. Okay. Uh, hey. Good to see you. So, <laughs> nice, to, nice to be here, and thank you for setting this event up. Uh, okay. So, so this this talk is going to be about the JavaFX CAD software. Um, so I'll start for uh, saying who am I? I'm uh, Pedro Bufiera. My Twitter handle is p underscore duke. You can follow me if you want to check out my work. And uh, I usually post about my work there. Uh, I'm a freelance consultant. I'm a software engineer and a software designer. So when I finished my degree in master, I have a master's in computer science. And when I finished my degree, I understood that my passion was graphics and creating user interfaces. So um, I started to take design courses, uh, courses in user interface design and uh, user experience and reading books about it. Uh, I've done some uh, user interface design for some clients, but I mainly focus on coding. Uh, I've been working professionally and focusing my work on applications with user interfaces for about 15 years. Uh, I like to do open source on my spare time. So I have a, uh, some projects like JMetro, but there's going to be a talk about it tomorrow. Uh, FX Ribbon. I have some contributions to Controls FX, JFX, uh, and some other some other uh, libraries like FX Parallax, FX Validation, etc. Uh, I've worked with JavaFX since its very first version, which used the uh, JavaFX script language. Uh, and uh, I think it's good that they changed it to using Java, um, mainly. And you can reach me through uh, pixelbook.com or uh, my email, pedro.bufiera at pixelbook.com. So the goals of this session, this is going to be about uh, showing you an application that, that I think uh, can be a, is a good use case for using Java, JavaFX. Uh, you can see the picture of the application to the right. Um, it's a CAD application like AutoCAD, but with a specific purpose to do energy efficiency assessment. So this is going to be a short overview. It is, uh, it, this is going to be a quick session. I'm going to show you a short tour of the application. Uh, this is a complex application and uh, it was created in, I think, a record time, a bit more than one year and a much more budget than the competition. I can say I know that the competition, and uh, I can say that this uh, because uh, they're probably not watching, so that there's no, there's not going to be a problem, uh, and you don't know who they are. Uh, the competition was using the um, the web stack at least at uh, at some point in time, and they are already six years in development, and they, they have nothing to show yet. They have no release. They haven't released uh, uh, an application yet. Uh, okay, so a little bit, a bit of background. My responsibilities were to define the, the higher level architecture. So we, we uh, were a two-person team. Uh, it was me and my, and my client. Uh, uh, do the, um, another uh, responsibility of mine was to do the implementation, do the user interface design, and do the user experience, and set up a professional environment and workflow. Um, my client is an energy rater by profession. Uh, so th this application does energy rating for buildings. Uh, he has always been uh, pushing energy rating to a higher level. He's done the energy rating for famous buildings in Australia and has self-taught programmer. He also worked on the, on the implementation. Uh, so uh, the purpose of the application, the name of the application is Euro. It does the energy efficiency assessment of buildings. And in the end, it generates an energy rating certificate. Uh, certificates are mandatory in Australia and I believe in most uh, countries. Um, and every building must meet the minimum rating. And these ratings can vary from state to state in Australia, which is a bit of a headache. And some also introduce uh, new parameters like load limits. Uh, which is something new uh, now nowadays in Australia. Um, applications that have this purpose must be certified by a public entity, a process that takes months, hours already is. 
the professional doing the energy rate, rating also must himself be a certified energy rater. Uh, and it's mandatory for any application uh, like this one to have a course uh, and uh, users must finish the course on the application with success and uh, the course must also be uh, uh, certified by a public entity. So the, pro the, the objective of certification is that uh, to make sure the application produces correct values because uh, this is going to uh, generate official certificates that are going to be used uh, after to build the, the houses. So uh, short demo of the application. Uh, I'm going to change to, to another screen. Okay. Uh, can you see the, the application? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to I'm going to load an already existing project to, to, to make things a bit quicker. So th this project is already, um, is already simulated. Uh, you can see at the bottom right, it has a 7.6 star rating. Uh, stars go from in Australia from zero to 10. So 7.6 is good. Uh, usually the minimum is six. Uh, so this this has like a, a custom desktop pane solution uh, where you can uh, resize the panes and um, maximize uh, restore. Uh, the pane to the left is uh, the visual view where you can see the um, the, the 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 project in, in visually. You can um, create walls, create uh, ceilings, create. Uh, uh, floors, uh, doors, windows, um, uh, eaves, uh, screens, etc. So this this is the floor, floor plan uh, of the house, which is uh, seen from a top-down view. Uh, you can uh, change the, the levels. Uh, so this effectively is a 3D environment, but in a 2D plane. Uh, so this is using a scene graph approach, and uh, at times th there's going to be like thousands of nodes here, and the performance is still okay, uh, good. Uh, we didn't do much. Uh, I didn't do much optimizations at the start, and uh, I already had an okay performance using the, the scene graph and having thousands of nodes here. Um, okay, so, the, so to the right, you can see the data grid where, where you can uh, see the, the values of the objects and change their, their values. You can see walls and uh, so it's, it's integrated with, uh, it's synchronized with the, the, the plane to the, to the left. You can see the, the, the values of floors, walls, ceilings, openings, etc. There's also the, the library where you have the, um, the materials that you use, that you can use on your project. You can uh, manage those here. You have the wall library, that's this one, the windows library, the skylights library. So in this case, this is the wall library. And to the left, you can see uh, the construction assemblies that you can use on your project that you decide to use. These are standard construction assemblies. You can also create your own to the right. You can add from dozens of materials. You can add them here. We organize their order. And obviously, uh, and you can name the, the, the assembly. And obviously, this is going to uh, all influence the order of the materials. The materials that we use is going to influence the, the efficiency of the, of the building, the energy efficiency. Uh, so after you you simulate th th this project is already simulated, so I can go here to the results tab and check the the results at a glance. Uh, I can see a table of results um, like uh, for each zone. A zone can be is like a bedroom or a, a living room, a kitchen, and this is useful to see all values at a glance and 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 see what might be wrong and etc. And here to the to the bottom, I just uh, standard JavaFX uh, pie charts uh, that are also useful to see uh, what's going on. So I'm going to switch back to the to the slides. Okay. So um, 
So details and a few features. Uh, if you follow me, you can. You might already have realized that it's using JMetro, JFX Team, which I'm going to talk about in the session tomorrow. It's a free open source JFX Team. The calculations for the energy rating can be very complex. It can depend on a lot of things, which are all modeled in here, like the materials used, the size and layout of the buildings. The climate over the year, we have a database of all of the climates of the various zones in Australia over the year. The orientation of the building, which will affect how the, the sun shades the each zone on the building, which will affect the, the efficiency, uh, the, the, the energy efficiency. The shading of other buildings, fences, etc., uh, can also we in and are also modeled here. So if you have a building next to yours, uh, you can model it here and obviously that building is going to uh, to influence how the sun will, will end up shading your building uh, and you have uh, fences etc and a bunch of other factors like penetrations or ceilings that have uh, ceiling fans that you can put on your which are very common in Australia or exhaust fans etc um, so the reception was was, was really good uh, we weren't expecting such a good uh, reception from the start. Uh, so our issue tracker, which is used for uh, people to uh, to tell us about the bugs and uh, ask feature requests, etc., it was being used to um, to say thank you and uh, praise our application. And they they really liked the UI and the, the user experience, and they were basically ready to start using it and uh, instead of the 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 usual application that were, they were using um so wrapping up like i said uh this is a complex app uh, which is created in the record time and much smaller budget than the competition the competition was using the web stack so this i think this is a good a good uh, great point for using JavaFX versus using the web stack uh i can say that they they're they're six years six years in development and they they still haven't uh produce the release the, the feedback has been awesome uh, i think having a good user interface and a good user experience can make a real difference uh, especially uh, at first glance if you have a good ui the users will be immediately grab, it will immediately grab their attention uh, i think this was the right form factory in the in this right form factor in this specific use case uh, there is um, for productivity applications, I think going desktop is better. Uh, I agree with, with Hendrik that desktop is a niche, like he said. But, uh, but uh, for um, productivity applications, I think desktop is still uh, preferred over, like, say, mobile or tablet. Um, and I also think that it's better than using web because in this, in, uh, it's better in this. Uh, use case because uh, we had uh, a real demand for performance and memory it's also a memory intensive application and to summarize i think that uh, java JavaFX were really a perfect fit for for this uh, application um, okay so that's it basically can you hear me Yes, we can hear you. Cool, thank you. So um, there are not that much questions because I think, I think my my Zoom has crashed, but uh, I can still hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So there are not that that many questions, but there are a lot of comments that people really like the UI that you have created. One is asking if you are a magician because that really looks like like sorcery. Uh, they discussed that since it's um, a business UI, it, it really looks looks sexy. So a lot of yeah, it's it's not uh, it's for uh, users and users. Um, so I, I I'd say this is a bit more like on the um, the consumer space, not on the enterprise uh, space. I'd say yeah. And uh, so one person is asking how long the development did. So, so let's say like how many person months? Uh, so the, we were two, it, it was me and my client, which is a, he's an amateur developer. 
and like uh, I think with a bigger team, we uh, and using JFX, we could uh, you, uh, do something even better. I think. Okay, nice technical question uh, for the two D layout. Did you use Canvas API or Scene Graph? No, no, I used the the Scene Graph. Cool. Okay. Uh, Very cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay, good. Oh, there again, one last question. So what, what version of Java is it? Is it? Uh, unfortunately, it's still JavaFX 8. Okay. Uh, Java. um, so the, pro the project is, is finished, but uh, it's still, uh, I finished with this, the client. I'm, I'm only available on a pair request uh, basis. And uh, yeah, the, one of the things he, he, he wants to do is to, and I wanted to do, but we didn't have time, is to turn it into a, into a, Java, a Java post nine version. Okay, okay. Yeah, so if there were any addi additional questions, I mean, Pedro, we will meet each other again tomorrow, right? Because you have sure. another session tomorrow where you give an introduction to Jay Meto to yeah. one of the, so to the UI component, I mean, a lot of the things are in this application, right? I assume several things that we've seen today are based on JMetro. Yeah, the, the basic, uh, the core. Uh, it, it also has some custom uh, styling uh, because, uh, yeah, the, uh, we needed custom components. Uh, but yeah, the, it's, uh, the core is JMetro. Okay, cool. Yeah, so then we will see more from you tomorrow. And Happy now, yes. um, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, we're still good at time. So uh, then I think it's a good more. Oh, let's see. Is there another question? Yeah, there was one more. Yeah, can you ask it? Yeah, if you, are in, if you do have the capacity to compare uh, the J JavaFX and the web stack, what would you say is the biggest advantage in terms of time of development saved thanks to JavaFX. Okay, so so um, I've worked much more with JavaFX than the web stack, so I might be saying something that's wrong, but uh, I think that JavaFX uh, can have a better performance and uh, it can be better on the memory side. Also, if you have a memory intensive application like our own. Uh, yeah, and I just uh, prefer uh, using Java than JavaScript. JavaScript. Uh, I don't like using, personally, I don't like using JavaScript for complex applications, at least for building complex applications. Okay, cool. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot for, for having me.